Hello, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes to us from Mr. Turner, who wants to know what I think on the recent egress of the Voyager spacecraft from our humble solar system. Now, I'm certain that many of you will be disappointed that I'm not about to, to wring my hands and, and tear at my clothes, that we are going to bring unwanted attention from squamous, eldritch entities that dance among the stars, for that is simply not my way. The drama of astronomy is a subtle one. Of, of all the sciences, it excites me the most for reasons that, well, boil down to its objectivity. It is purely rational. And yet, it has had to come up from a superstitious origin. It is cruelly objective. We demand that the Earth must be the center of the universe, and it tells us no. We insist that the stars play a special role in each of our lives every day, and it says no. When we look out to the other worlds, we demand that they be suited for human life and human colonization, and it says no. We break the boundaries of our own gravity and expect countless civilizations waiting to welcome us with open arms into an interstellar brotherhood. And it says no. And every time it says no, we are required to grow up just a little bit more and to examine our own priorities. And that is a marvelous thing to experience. Of course, I must admit that despite doing my best to keep au courant with astronomy, I am at times intimidated by the field, especially by Neil deGrasse Tyson. I, I assume it has to do with his mustache. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.